Davis Energy leaders, the Dallas mayor, and others met with residents about the ongoing natural gas issues in northwest Dallas. Our Marianne Martinez was at that meeting, and she's live now, where Atmos crews are digging up the street in front of Dallas Fire Station 43. Marianne? Well, Gilmo, you're listening to the sound of a jackhammer as this Atmos Energy Group is trying to determine uh, if there's a credible gas leak and what exactly is going on at this fire station. Now, this combined with two fires last week and that deadly explosion is why these residents are so fearful and scared and why they packed a town hall meeting earlier today to try to get answers. My question is to everyone in the panel. What are they going to do to make sure that Atmos does their job? How can we trust you? My friend barely made it out alive. That's my question to y'all. How y'all going to change this and fix this? Over and over again, fearful and frustrated residents took turns wanting to know how gas leaks were ignored, culminating in a Friday morning explosion that killed a little Linda Rogers. Bertha Benitez attended the meeting to tell Atmos Energy face to face that she called to report a gas leak February 16th, one week before the explosion. She says Atmos never sent anyone. A spokeswoman for the energy company says they need to do better, saying they are working on maps to show residents where they are working. The gas provider is expanding gas leak testing zones out of what it calls an abundance of caution. The mayor of Dallas also did his best to calm fears and dispel rumors, telling residents the city is working with the federal investigators to find out exactly what happened. A life has been lost. Property has been lost. We've got infrastructure issues that need to be changed. No, I don't think I'm going to sleep any better tonight than I have in the last three or four nights. Now, Abbas says that it expects that uh, gas service will be fully restored by Sunday. That is a tentative date. Obviously, there could be some delays, uh, especially if weather uh, has anything to do with it. There are, uh, and this is a conservative number, mind you, about 300 people at a minimum who are still not in their homes, evacuated uh, either under mandatory evacuations or simply too afraid to go home. Reporting from Dallas, Marianne Martinez, CBS 11 News. Marianne, thank you very much.